So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an access list to deny all these PCs um, access to the to the VLAN management to the um, so they won't be able to um, I'm going to restrict the SSH so they can't so they're not allowed access uh, via SSH to do that I need to do it on the layer 3 switch and I need to apply the access list to the interfaces um, from the layer 3 switch now obviously restricting access to these PCs the only way I'm going to be able to SSH is from the service here once I've denied access to these or probably somewhere past this network once it's built up so what we'll do first is we'll just test to make sure that these PCs can actually access um, the switches back via SSH. Uh, I think I've got the command there. So 10.99 is the sales switch. Yes it can, so I'm in the sales switch there. So I'm just gonna exit out of that. So essentially once I've blocked the access it shouldn't be able to connect via SSH so I'm just going to start doing that now. Just do show access list, there's no access list there. So I'm going to create them now. Alright let's go. So I'm going to give it an ID of 100, and I'm going to deny TCP um, from any, because it's easier, instead of doing every single one separate. So I'm going to deny TCP from any, because remember this is only getting applied to each VLAN, so VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, this shouldn't be able to access it from there. So, deny CCP from any to the VLAN management destination, which is 172.60.10.96. Wildcard mask is 0, 0, 0.0.0.15. Equal to, I think that's right, yeah, equal to 22 is SSH. And, uh, and as always, we need to permit any, any after deny. So um, access list permit IP from any source to any. I think that's correct. I know, wait a minute. Permit access list 100 permit IP any any that should be right yes it is so now this is the access list created um, so now we need to apply it to the interfaces so with it being on a switch you don't apply it to the actual interface you apply it to the uh, switch virtual interface to the VLANs so interface VLAN in fact let me show you a minute show access list so we've got the access list there and at the moment we can still SSH to the switches Try SSH to 97, which I think is the lead layer 3. Yes, it is. So I'm in there as well. I exit there. I could still SSH. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the access list to the first VLAN, VLAN 10, which is sales. I'm going to 
config t reverse f IP access group 100 and the from down here the traffic will be coming in so it's in and that's it it should have been applied to VLAN 10 so now if we try it shouldn't let us connect by SSH now no it's not gonna There we go, it's timed out. Let's try the 99. So any, because what I did, I denied access to any um, SSH to the network 172.16.10.96. Um, this is the network. Um, so this shouldn't be, this should still be able to ping because they haven't applied an access link list for that. Uh, 99 so you can still ping it it's just not allowing SSH which is what we wanted to do in the first place so if we check and see support this should still be able to access SSH so we'll try the leads there you go you can still get in until I apply the access list to that as well which I am going to do now so if we go on to um, in the first VLAN 20 IP access group 100 coming in in the first VLAN 30 IP access group in Forty. You just do all this all the way up. Fifty. Access group. Um, Sixty. And there we go. So we just seen that support could still access. Let's try it now. There we go. Support can't access now. Which is good, however, we can still ping 172.16.10.97. There we go, we can still ping. And we can still get DHCP. There we go. It's just blocking access to SSH, like I say. So, this server, because it's not on a VLAN, should still be able to access um, SSH so 97 there we go that's good which is what we want which is good so that's all being put in place now let me just see if I can show access lists there we go um, let me just try SSH So one seven two sixteen ten dot ninety nine. So we can still so say we're consoling to the switches. Uh, we could still um, SSH to the other ones, which is good. It's just those PCs on the VLANs, um, they can't. They're denied access. So. And, there we go so from the lead switch we're now in the sales switch down here so really that's what I wanted to do um, because realistically these 
switches here, the access switches, you've got your distribution layer and you've got your layer 3 there. But really, we don't want the PCs SSHing into um, any of these devices.